The Picture of Dorian Gray, Art and Culture. An intellectual and art movement of the late 19th century, the aesthetic movement emphasized aesthetics and beauty values over art's traditionally didactic obligations. The author of the classic Picture of Dorian Gray, Oscar Wilde, was an important figure in the propagation of the movement and a self-proclaimed aesthetic writer. He, therefore, adopted the movement's adage, Art for Art's Sake. Art for Art's Sake meant that art should be judged only by its beauty and never by a moral or social aspects. We can forgive a man for making a useful thing as long as he does not admire it. The only excuse for making a useless thing is that one admires it intensely. All art is quite useless. There is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written or badly written. That is all. Wilde defended that readers could only find an immoral way in his novel, if they put it there themselves. For in his work, art would always outweigh moral. To Dorian, Sybil is nothing but a spectacle and he feels no actual emotion, connection to her. Once she becomes unable to act, Dorian becomes an interest in her and his reaction to her death only serves to prove even more that Sybil's art was what fascinated Dorian and nothing more. Basil's biggest flaw is that he believes art to be reality. The beauty that he sees in artworks makes it impossible for him to see the world's true image. Dorian looks like an angel and therefore cannot be bad. Although himself admits that he put too much of his own view of Dorian in the portrait, Basil believes that to be the young man's true form. He falls in love with his idealization and that leads him to his demise. Lord Henry is the personification of the aesthetic movement. Through art, he is able to appreciate beauty and obtain pleasure while maintaining his completely immoral ways. That is why he turns out to be the only character that benefits from his relationship with art. Dorian Gray becomes completely self-absorbed throughout the book. The portrait seems to be a revelation of his own perfection rather than the lover's idealization, and that makes him obsessed with maintaining that image. Although Dorian tries to live accordingly to what Lord Henry professes, he ends up being unable to withstand a life that is completely immoral. He tries to destroy the portrait in an attempt to clear his consciousness, and by doing so, he destroys himself. Dorian's biggest mistake was to go against aestheticism.